A man had been declared wanted for allegedly setting his ex-girlfriend, her newborn baby, three others ablaze over paternity fraud. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and you are in Turkey headquarter. In this video, this young man you are seeing right here, his name is Mr. Arinze. He has been declared wanted for allegedly setting his 18-year-old girlfriend, her newborn baby, and three others ablaze over paternity fraud in Ogun State of Nigeria. Um, it was gathered that this um, unfortunate incident occurred on Tuesday morning, September 5th, 2023 in Ogun State. According to report, this young lady right here, Esther, and this young man, Arinze, were dating when she, you know, became pregnant and Arinze took care of her and shouldered all the financial um, responsibility until she put to bed sometime um, last month. It was Arinze that paid all the hospital bills. However, um, a few days after she put to bed, another guy named Seu surfaced and laid claim to the child. You know, while they were trying to resolve the issue, Esther packed her bags and moved in with Seu. She also confirmed Seu is the biological father of her child. Police were involved and Mr. Arinze said he would collect the sum of 300,000 Naira as compensation, but Sewu said he would only pay 150,000 and that he was going to pay it installmenta, that is 20,000 Naira monthly. The matter was settled at the police station, but apparently Arinze was not happy with the arrangement. You know, he started threatening to eliminate the girl. Fast forward to two nights ago, Esther went to sleep at her neighbor's room with the baby because she was not home and she was scared that Arinze might break in to, you know, harm them. Sadly, Arinze broke into the neighbor's apartment and poured about 10 liters of petrol on Esther the newborn baby, the neighbor, and her two children, and sent, set them ablaze. They were rushed to Bangkok Hospital in Ogun State there, and later transferred to another hospital in Lagos. The newborn baby died on the spot while Esther died this morning at the hospital. The neighbor and her two children are currently battling for their lives. They are said to be in critical conditions while the suspect is currently on the run. This is a very, very sad story. Very, very sad one. I don't know why some humans are very wicked and mean. I'm so sorry to say this. A lot of bad things always happening in Ogun State. I don't know why. I don't really know why. Is it because of the name? Or I don't know. I've read a lot of ugly incidents happening in Ogun State. I don't know if maybe if people want to commit crime, they will just go to that state. I know crimes are all over the place, right? But this particular state, Ogun State, a lot of bad things are happening there. Notwithstanding, this story should be a very big lesson. In fact, this thing that happened would have been avoided. One, this young lady, you became pregnant and you know very well that 
this pregnancy does not belong to this man and you lay claim that it was mr arrange that impregnated you and he took care of everything inside this um man mr arrange he already had it in his mind that he's going to have a child all the hopes and everything you know was crash but even at that he did not justify him setting them ablaze killing the young lady the new baby and also the neighbors were affected my main question is are they just sitting down one person one man who just pour petrol on how many people five people and they would just stand and be looking they did not do anything they did not react even before he turned on the the light the lighter everything they i don't know i don't know how it really happened or maybe they were sleeping when he just poured everything but man this man is really wicked a newborn baby even if he's no longer your baby and if the saddest part of this is they have already settled this at the police station and he requested for three hundred thousand, which the other young man that owns the child um accepted to pay one hundred and fifty thousand naira. Why then? Why will you kill someone that you've um shared your saliva with for a very long time? You know, someone you dated for a very long time. Why? I don't know why people are so mean and wicked. Even if the young lady, what she did, is very very wrong. Why not let go and allow karma to be the judge? Why why do people like rejoice in taking a life they cannot create? Imagine the newborn baby. Imagine what the little baby, the cute little newborn baby went through. Then the mother too. Then the neighbors that try to help. Now they are in trouble. They are at the hospital fighting for their life. Just for rendering help. Because of this stupid act, how many people have lost their life? And God forbid, these people that are in critical condition, even if they survive, their life will never remain the same. They will still have that um, fire um, born or something, you know? Because of one silly mistake, because of one, one small lie. How can you be pregnant? You give it to another man, give the man hope. Then how can this man, Mr. Rinze, be so wicked and cruel? Even the cry of that little baby did not even touch you. Even when you already have in your mind that this child is yours, automatically you are still a father to this child. Why did you end this new baby's life? just because of the mistake of the mom i feel so sad a lot of things are happening right now if you're out there just be careful one lie you will tell might cause a lot of harm that you will regret no matter what do not um try to um do paternity fraud on a man it's very very wrong some will do it and go scot-free why some some men are very like i don't know how to put it but some men cannot take it they will go for revenge and look at where this one ended i'm just sad and i hope as you are watching this video um like you've learned one or two things imagine a single mistake a single lie and the funny part of it is that this young lady was aware. I think maybe she planned it with the young man, Shew. Maybe because they are not um, buoyant to pay the money or anything, whatever. But man, this is so sad. Whatever it is, whatever evil, whatever lies you are planning, remember, you might be, you might be forgiven. The next person you are planning that evil with might not be have a forgiving spirit a lot of people like like they like if you do me i do you worst you know but this is like man i don't know how i'm feeling as i'm making this video i feel so sad 
especially for that little baby. The baby is innocent of all these things. The baby did not beg to be bring, brought to this world. The baby was not the one that lied. The baby did the baby don't know anything. It's just a baby, an innocent baby, you know. But what had happened had happened. This is a story I said, let me share with you guys. And I hope you learn one or two things from this sad story. May their souls and all the souls of the first world departed. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.